Hey, welcome back. It is 939 on this Tuesday morning. Great to be here with you. We are talking about squeezing in all that summer Last fun. Little bit. That's it. Kiddos are back to school for the most part, right? Almost yeah. everybody except for, you know, some some folks today who yeah. aren't because of the heat, but you still got to squeeze in that fun when you yeah. can. So Carrie is here from Little Guide and we're talking about Innovation Hills. Yes. Uh, so we went yesterday. Innovation Hills has long time, not long, it's only a couple years old, but it has been a favorite of ours. Um, it's in Rochester and it is a phenomenal park. You can tell However, it's unique just yes, from the first couple of photos. Yes. And it's fully fenced in, uh, which is something we get a lot at Little Guy Detroit. They always ask, where's a fenced in? You know, mm -hmm. keep them contained. Mm -hmm. um, but they have added new elements. Wow. Um, by the way, right here is the, the key uh, the tree house slide. There are a number of slides that go down it. I think my kids have gone up it that. yesterday. He was, my oldest was like, my hair is wet. I was like, cause you just ran up that thing. Yeah. <laughs> and it was so time. hot. They, you know, we got some good naps out of it. So yeah. you, can, you can take that as a win. But they added new elements and they just continue to. And it's part of a big trail behind it, which we never even get to because the playground is so enticing but there's a nice lake and a trail wow. so you can bring your scooter your bike go for a walk yeah. how is innovation how is it different than other parks because I mean even just looking at the structures they look completely different yeah. yes I I think that they have done a really good job and especially now with the additional uh, pieces where they have things for the little ones as you can see I have a two-year-old <laughs> I have a four-year-old and a seven one seven-year-old where the seven-year-old and four-year-old, they can climb to the top of that tree house, but then the two-year-old, um, they have a lot of different components and climbing ability for her ability to. Now, the other thing that my kids love, and thankfully we've now tried to train them, they have this little cre creek, is, it, it's just like a little river, it's, it's not the right word, but it's just <laughs> very little and, um, they allow, they have these pulleys in the, the dam so the kids can. Um, in the water? Yes, so oh. they can take off their shoes, get in the water, but again, it's up to their ankles. Um, that's not to say that my daughter didn't sit in it and we were fully <laughs> wet to yeah. get out of it. Need an outfit change. Um, yes, so keep that in mind. There is water, it is very minimal, but it's very cool. It's like this little stream that they've created um, that's a foot, foot and a half wide maybe the same deep and it allows you know so the kids were putting boats down it oh, so and neat. they have little Making dams memories. that they yes yeah. so it is yeah. very cool they have thought of a lot of different things for the kids to get into and perfect tell for into these that. last like hot yeah. days it was of summer. hot yeah. yesterday yes. we were there yesterday it was hot and that water felt good I so i didn't I, yeah. I didn't blame her for sitting <laughs> in it but right, right you're like i wish it was acceptable for me to yes. flop down i totally. probably missed it where is this park in rochester rochester, rochester. okay so it's not far it's very centrally located too right yeah. off the highway too yeah. I can't tell you how wonderful it is to have you on because Aww. even before I was a parent, I got so excited to read little guide posts, Aww. to Thank see a segment you. on air. You do so much of the hard work, the groundwork of compiling these places to go and things to do. Getting all and the info, right? I mean, now that I, I am a mom, I just, I feel like little guide is such a resource. It really <laughs> so is. And you, and you don't realize it until you start talking to folks in yeah. the community about it. And, yeah. you know, I find too, if I have, you know, a uh, pocket of time here and there, I'm like, oh, let me go to Little pull Guide little real guide. quick and let me pull up some past posts and look for, Some okay. people don't realize how much work goes into finding what's free and dates and times and things change and compiling pictures and videos and so, what a resource to have wow. you. You guys, thank you so much. <laughs> I am really so flattered. That. I'm probably blushing and, and that's why we do it. And it's, it's not only, it's self-serving for us too. We are parents. All the women that run Little Guide are parents. Mm -hmm. They're phenomenal. Um, and we bust up. Friday, I went, we'll talk about it in another segment. I went to three cider mills. And just to oh, see yeah. what we can get fresh content mm -hmm. each and yeah. every year that we're on top of it. And we'll um, put those videos out and mm -hmm. the photos. And we 
try to make it as easy for you to, to know what you're getting into, where to park, what the bathroom situation yep. is, things that matter to us. Bring an extra set of clothes because they're going to go in the water. Yeah. Things that um, will hopefully help you explore Metro Detroit and beyond. We cover some really cool yeah. places beyond, too. Yeah. The parents and guardians thank you and the kids thank you. Yeah, I love that you, you do all the legwork for <laughs> yes. us, so we appreciate it. Thank I appreciate you so it, much. You guys. Thank so you so fun. much. Great to have you. All right.